Is your summer break over? How about making the beginning of your school year better with funny slimes? Watch our new video with ideas on how to sneak slimes into class without anyone noticing. The start of class is the perfect time for a prank. No one expects pranks right after summer break. But Dolly is ready to go already. She hides edible slime in an apple and hurries to sneakily leave it for the teacher. Cut off the top of an apple. Scoop out the flesh. Melt jelly candies in a microwave for half a minute. Add equal amounts of starch and powdered sugar. Mix it until it's not sticky anymore. Press edible beads into the slime and put it inside the apple. Attach the top of the apple with toothpicks. We sneak the apple onto the teacher's table and we wait for her to come. Wait, could this really be our good old Miss Smith? She's a surfboarder girl and Miss Piniculata all at the same time. Summer vacation turned our Miss Smith into a real tropical queen. She bravely bites the apple with slime. She is completely fearless now. You can't surprise her with an edible slime apple. We're not used to this new Miss Smith. It's time to bring her back from her vacation into real life and make her look more professional. Let's bring her workplace to order. And clean the blackboard. Here, the best students have prepared the teacher for classes. Everything is in place again. Now the only thing that reminds Miss Smith of her hot vacation is her nose piercing. The girls can put a blazer on her, but they can't take her spirit of freedom away. Especially when Miss Smith brings a surprise. Her globe has marvelous and relaxing giant slime inside. Make maxi slime. We will need a lot of white glue. Squeeze shaving foam into it. And blue acrylic paint. Add baby powder. And a thickener, such as borax. Mix the slime and add hand cream. Dissolve baking soda in water and add it to the slime so that it doesn't stick. We need our giant slime. It stretches out well and doesn't tear apart. Take a big globe off its stand and cut it along the equator. Cover the hole in the globe with a black foam rubber sheet. and put the giant slime inside. Press small animal toys into it. Close the globe and put it back on the stand. Miss Smith dives into the world ocean slime. You could arrange a whole great flood here. Small animals are already swimming in the water area of the globe. The teacher feels like a sea goddess. But we need to stop this immediately. Otherwise, Miss Smith will never come back to the reality of school. But how can you possibly resist a giant slime? It is as relaxing as the real sea. And you can catch not only fish in it, but also a giraffe. Miss Smith falls into her own trap. Her hands get covered with a sticky slime tsunami. We have a new prank ready. Will I raise my hand to distract the teacher? Daisy slips her a slime ruler. Mix even amounts of water and stationary glue. Add a pinch of soda and keep mixing. Add lens solution. Mix it until you get a slime consistency. Then leave it in a bowl for 10 minutes. Then knead it with your hands. You get a clear slime that looks very similar to a jellyfish. Stretch it out and put it onto a plastic ruler. Cut off the excess. The ruler is ready for the prank. Dolly changes her mind about asking a question and Miss Smith falls for it. 
she gets stuck to the slime ruler. Surprise! But we didn't take into account the fact that the teacher is very accurate with her aiming. Now, clear slime is flying right back at us. Studying is serious business. The girls are hard at work taking notes. But someone managed to smuggle slime in a school supplies cup. Add a drop of coloring to slime glue. Pour in a spoon of borax solution and mix the slime. Sprinkle it with many kinds of glitter. Spread the glitter over the entire pink slime. Make a different colored slime the same way. Take a school supplies cup and put the slimes into the colored partitions. A pen doesn't fit into Dolly's cup. This is Daisy's fault. She put bright glittering slimes into the cup. Time doesn't fly when you are in math class, but it's great that these stretchy slimes have made it a little bit more fun. You won't get bored with these glittering slimes. And meanwhile, Miss Smith has gotten distracted. It's because of her glittering ring. It has a secret inside. Add glitter to a clear slime and put the glittering slime into a round container and attach a ring blank to it. Cover the cap of the container with clear nail polish and sprinkle it with glitter. Coat it with one more layer of nail polish. Miss Smith brought this ring as a souvenir from her vacation. There is a de-stress filling in it. This small glittering slime reminds her of warm summer days when she had no worries. You can stretch it out and dream about carnivals and beach parties. Oh, it's such a pity that you can't throw a beach party right in the classroom. The teacher asked to highlight the topic of the class in our notes. Excellent! Dolly has the perfect marker for that with a little slime hiding in it. Add yellow acrylic paint to white glue. Mix it and pour it into liquid laundry detergent. Mix the slime until it's not sticky. If the slime is still sticky, add some baking soda solution. Then, coat your hands with this solution and knead the slime. Now it's not sticky and stretches out well. Take the wadding out of a marker. Put the yellow slime into the body and close the cap. You can not only highlight your notes with this marker, but also relax your hands if you've been writing for a long time. Take the canary slime out. Stretching it is so much fun. Unfortunately, there is only wadding in Daisy's marker. No surprises for her, but Miss Smith takes all of our fun markers away. Whatever, I've still got the slime in my hand. Dolly is getting her album ready for the class, and I've prepared a whole slime paint palette. Make colorful slimes and put them into a clean paint palette. Mix the colors to make the palette more interesting. Mix yellow and pink slimes together and you get orange. And if you mix blue and orange, then you get a beautiful purple slime. Don't have any paints? Feel free to take mine. They stretch out in opposite directions. Need different colors. Your painting will look just as great with these slimes as with regular paints. You get modern 3D art. But art critic Miss Picasso Smith says that there's something missing from our painting. Wait, we haven't used our brush yet. Take a thick cocktail straw, cut off the bending part, and hot glue atop of a broken brush inside. Take liquid slime and pour it inside the straw. Cut a piece off of a hot glue stick and insert it into the straw instead of a plug. Creative talent is hidden in this brush. This pink detail will make our painting complete. Now it looks finished. We named this masterpiece 
thoughts of a teacher after vacation, and Miss Smith gets one slime right after the painting. Our signature is tactical art. Did you like our back to school slime ideas? Then write in the comments which slime you will sneak into class. And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new slime ideas on Troom Troom.